management, people, systems. As I watched Sarah take all this in, I saw that the idea of this integrated view of business had begun to take hold of her imagination. Gone was the resistance, the doubt, and the fear that what I had brought to her door was beyond her, something unreachable for the baker of pies she had come to believe she was. What she was beginning to grasp is that she was a worthy opponent, more worthy than she had ever realized, and that the game I was describing for her was the same game she had been taught to play by her aunt years ago in her mother's kitchen with such loving attention, that there was absolutely no difference. She smiled at me as though reading my thoughts. I'm beginning to see the connection between all these things we've talked about, she said. They're all beginning to make sense. The puzzle is coming together. I can see the parts merge into an exciting picture that I now know has been there all along. All that needed to be done for the picture to take form was for someone to move the pieces into their proper place. I'd like to describe it for you, the picture I'm beginning to see, before I ask you some more questions. Go right ahead, I smiled. In fact, I'd be disappointed if you didn't. It all goes back to my childhood, of course. To the spirit I spoke about earlier. To what I felt like as a little girl. And I know now that I'm not alone, that I'm not the only one who's ever felt that way. That there were probably lots of other little girls and boys who were suffering the same sort of experience. And lots of grown men and women who, like me, are still carrying around the impact of their early childhood experiences. And so I see my experiences, the quarreling of the wild horse, the stuffing away of the spirit my teachers and my parents trained me to do so well, as the beginning of a philosophy for my business. A philosophy that my business needs if I'm ever going to offer anything of true value to my employees and my customers. If there will be no stuffing of the spirit here, my business will say. Maybe I should put it above the door to remind everyone who comes in what our purpose is, she grinned. Or maybe better yet, let thy spirit run free. Yes, that's better. It even feels better. She laughed aloud with the joy of it. As she continued, it became so clear to me what a miraculous gift speaking can be. I saw that Sarah wasn't so much talking to me, but to herself, discovering as she spoke the miracles that lived within her, within her experience, within her relationship with her aunt, within her extraordinary imagination. Discovering truths she never knew she knew, discovering all the wealth that was waiting there inside of her to be unearthed, to be explored, to be treasured as the words came tumbling forth. As though the words, once freed by the speaking of them, combined with the air to become something else again, a vision, understanding, expansion. Sarah continued. 
My picture of the business also goes back to what my aunt taught me about caring. If my aunt were alive today, she would say, if everyone cares, the pies will take care of themselves. And so I can see my business as a school, a school about caring that teaches all the little things to my employees that my aunt tried so hard to teach me. What it means to pay attention, what it means to our spirits to be present with the whole of ourselves in everything we do. My God, I thought I hadn't learned anything, she said to me, her eyes wide with the astonishment of what she had just understood. But I had, I had, and now I'm going to take her place. That lovely woman, that sweet, gentle, determined old woman, I'm going to take her place. I'm going to become the master in my own kitchen, just as she was the master in hers. And the rules of the game? What a joy it's going to be to create them. Rules about dress, rules about comportment, rules about the tools we use and how we use them, rules about the floor and the walls and the counter space, how we clean them every night and every morning, how we give them their final touch so that they absolutely glow, rules about the pie tins and about the cupboards in which we store things, rules about glass, rules about silver, rules about tin, rules about the ovens, how they're heated, how they're opened and closed, how they're cleaned. Rules about opening up and closing up. Rules about money, about keeping the books, about balancing at the end of each day. Rules about hair, about fingernails. Sarah's eyes were flashing as she poured out the beginning of her vision, as her vision began to take shape. She didn't need to know what the specific rules were yet. What was important was that she get a taste of the exercise. As her aunt said, the pies will take care of themselves. Sarah was on her way.